Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I want to talk about what you do if a piece of paper accidentally gets stuck on the glue of your canvas. I hope you are watching this out of curiosity and not necessity, but if you have just done the said thing, uh, don't panic and watch the video. Okay, so paper being dropped on the glue is not a new thing. Uh, many people have done it and many more people will do it. The most common thing that happens is the person has their key, the sheet that comes with your uh, diamond painting, some people call it the inventory, um, and it has the list of all your uh, codes and colours. And that very often is on a sheet of A4 paper. So this is just a blank sheet of A4. And sometimes what happens is uh, the paper accidentally gets either laid down or accidentally dropped uh, on the glue, like so. This happened to my wife last summer. Uh, we were in here, diamond painting. We had the window open. A gust of wind blew in and it blew her key and it flipped over and it landed on the glue like this. So she tried to peel it off very carefully and very gently and this is when you realise just how sticky the glue is. Now, if you are very lucky, the paper will come off if you take your time. But you can see already, and there we go, this is normally what happens. And you end up with part of your key stuck to the glue. Now, this is a very familiar sight and hopefully I'm going to show you how to get it off. Um, your key is ruined by the way but you shouldn't panic about that either because you should have it printed on the side of your canvas so you'll still have your key. Um, the, the easiest way to do this is to get baby wipes. Now we don't have a baby, so when this happened uh, to my wife, that was the first time we'd actually thought about it. So it was panic stations, started looking in the, uh, diamond, the diamond painting groups, and people were saying baby wipes, baby wipes, use baby wipes. So I went down to a local store, bought a pack of baby wipes, came back and handed it to my wife. So then she got the baby wipe and started to wet the paper. So all I'm doing is just soaking the paper. Now the thing is you don't want to really press hard on the, the glue because you'll start to move the sheet of glue and that will cause problems itself. So all I'm doing is just wetting the paper. Now just get my nail going along. Now it comes off very very easily. So it's just a matter of scraping it off. Take your time. I'm applying no pressure on the glue. So you can see the, the paper is just wet. So it's just a matter of using your nail, working it towards the edge, just make sure you get everything. If you feel any of the paper is a bit dry, just wet it again. So this isn't damaging the glue at all, I'm just scraping it off to the side. So 
So you can see, I mean, it, it comes off very, very easily. I have seen people um, saying use an X-Acto knife to try and scrape the paper. Um, I would not recommend that. Fingernail is good enough. It's not too sharp, it's not going to cut into the glue, cause any problems. So I'm just going over it, making sure I've got every little piece. The thing is, if you do actually miss a piece <coughs> and uh, you're doing the, the, the painting and you suddenly realise there's a little piece of paper there that's uh, dried out again, just use the baby wipe and wet it again and just do exactly the same thing. I can see there's little bits there that are very thin and probably dry by now. So you can see the baby wipe doesn't stick. So just going over it again. So this is what my wife did and she finished it and she thought that was easy. And then she realised the glue wasn't sticky and nobody had mentioned that. So all they had said was use a baby wipe. So I think that's it. Good tiny pieces. That's it. So this part isn't really sticky. This part isn't sticky. If I go over here you can see the difference now it's starting to get sticky what's happening is um, the liquid is evaporating off once that liquid has evaporated the glue will be back to normal it will be as sticky as it was um, so my wife was panicking thinking she'd ruined the glue but um, a lot of people said use baby wipes but nobody thought to say when you first do it uh, the paper will lose its stickiness, uh, the glue will lose its stickiness. Um, this little piece is uh, very edgy. Though. Um, <coughs> so you just leave it for a few minutes. See, that's it, you can see already. So just a few minutes, and that's it. Simple, really simple. So that's that's uh, the handy hint. So it's a good idea to just have a packet of baby wipes nearby just in case. Um, I have read about people, um, somebody, she was working on a diamond painting, her young daughter came in, she had drawn a picture, she came over to show her mummy and proceeded to drop the picture directly onto the canvas which was exposed. So um, that was uh, that was the end of the, the picture. So um, <coughs> that's one reason why I like to work in small areas at a time. This is the area where I have to worry about anything touching it. Um, I no longer use the key, the sheet of paper that you normally get. What I do, now it depends what you're going to do when you've finished your diamond painting, but I trim off all of the border. So what I do now is I trim off the key. So I've got the key and what I do is I keep that beside it and I work from that. And to stop the key uh, going on to the, the glue, I use a cover minder, which is something like this. They all work the same way. Two magnets. You put one magnet underneath your canvas. You put one magnet on top. And then that holds it in place. Now I would use two, I would use one either end just to keep it still. And that stops it moving. You can use exactly the same principle with your A4 sheet of paper if you just want to keep using that. So instead of um, cutting the, the key, we just pretend that this is the key. So I would have the key over here and put the magnet underneath. And then one down at the bottom and then that way the sheet of paper won't move anywhere the magnets are holding it in place so 
That's one of the reasons uh, that people use cover mangles. The other reason is if you work like this and you've folded the cover back, you don't want it folding back. It can be sometimes it can tend to come back. So again, I've got a magnet somewhere underneath and once it sticks, it stops this paper from sticking back up. So cover minders, very handy things. If you don't have a cover minder, you could set something else on it, something with a bit of weight on it, just to hold it down. So that's what, what this thing is. Uh, and if you are working on a diamond painting that has poured glue, it'll have this clear stuff. I absolutely hate this stuff. Um, the first thing that I do is I take off the original cover. It doesn't matter if it's this or if it's this. And I use uh, release paper. But I am going to do another video in five minutes about release paper because something that you may not know is not all release paper is the same. So that will be coming up in the next video. So uh, if you did watch this video because you were in a blind panic because you had dropped paper on the glue, hopefully I have alleviated your worries. It is a very, very simple fix. Simply use a baby wipe and get the paper wet and you just use your fingernail and just gently um, scrape it off. But don't, don't press because you could uh, pull the glue if it's the double sided glue um, because all it is is a big sheet of double sided tape. If you apply a lot of pressure on it and pull it you'll uh, tear the glue and then you're going to cause uh, a lot more problems than you had initially. So just take your time, just soak the paper with the baby wipe and then just gently wipe it off to the edge and just wait a few minutes and the glue will be as sticky as new and you can carry on with your diamond painting. Um, I would recommend using something to hold the key down. Don't just sit it on the table beside you um, because again from experience my wife had the key laying on the, the table. It was nowhere near the glue. A gust of wind blew in, flipped it over and it landed on the glue. So ever since then we've used cover minders to hold it down. So that's it. Hopefully um, you found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're interested in more hints, tips, unboxings, unbaggings, pens, accessories, comparisons, all that good stuff, please subscribe and hit the notification button. And uh, you will maybe catch me live. I, I do uh, occasional random lives during the week. And uh, the idea is just a chance for me to talk to other diamond painters and just have a bit of a, a chit chat. Uh, I'm always interested in meeting people around the world and getting to know them. And uh, I also do a weekly live with my wife. And uh, it's actually tonight, today's Saturday. So it's every Saturday unless something crops up. Um, between 8pm and 9pm Copenhagen time, which is Central European time. And uh, we sometimes do little quizzes, uh, which usually gets a bit of a laugh. So if you're interested in joining us, as I said, please subscribe, hit the notifications, and uh, you never know, you could be joining us in the quiz. So that's it, and I am now going to set up for another video about um, release paper. Um, you may think that release paper is release paper. It is not the case. You have to be uh, careful which kind of release paper you get and how you use it. So in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands. Music